All right, this is going to be the first time this engine's been fired up. I purged the fuel line, fuel filter's full, sprayed some carb cleaner. I've got the battery charger hooked up, gas tank's three quarters full. So the next thing is just to see if this thing's going to start. All right. I'm going to put you over here and frost. I said I don't know anything about this engine. Yep. Starter bolts not tightened up. Be right back with you. Well, here we go. I think I'm going to pull the plugs and spin it a few times. Not cranking very well. All right, I think I might have problem number two. Um, we're not seeing any any spark here. Uh, this might be. Frutal, as they say, might have to put the original engine back on it. So we have absolutely no spark. Uh, I do have one extra questionable coil pack that I guess I'll throw on it because I just want to see if this engine runs. So uh, uh, Y'all know what's involved in replacing that, so this will be <laughs> a little while later down the road. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, and for those that said, well, it might be the spark tester, uh, put the plugs back in. And we'll give it another shot. I'm going to have to pull the starter too. It's dragging way too much. All right, we got a couple things to do to the engine. Catch you next time. Well, I need to do an addendum to my video. So I unhooked the, uh, the kill wire to the coil and hooked it up to the ignition switch. And if we come over here, off it's shorted which is good on it's open now let me hook it back up so i hooked the uh, kill wire back up to the coil and as you see here off on off on no change it's completely shorted so it may not be the coil it may be the uh the connector or the wire so either way, I got to go into it, but hopefully the coil's good. I'll know more when I pull the top back off. Thanks for watching.